2 Corinthians 5.17 says, whoever belongs in Christ is made new, that the old is gone and you're a new creation. This verse speaks volumes about my life. When I was 19, I met a guy at work who said everything a girl wants to hear, that you're beautiful, I love you, you're perfect. And I fell for him. I knew nothing about this guy. He was just there and he gave me attention. And um, I started a relationship with him and it began the worst five months of my life. During this five months, I was physically, sexually, mentally, and emotionally abused. Um, seeing my friends and family were, was pretty much out of the question. When I would go back to him, it would just be endless yelling matches and telling how horrible I was and just terrible things said about me. I never thought that I'd end up in a relationship like that. I grew up with parents who never fought. They still don't fight. And there I was with a guy that was doing everything to me I never thought would happen. When I walked out that night, I had broken bones, bruises all over me, and just defeated. And though I survived, and many women don't survive those situations, I spent the next seven years not loving myself, not knowing who I was, no self-esteem at all, um, just walking in this world, just lost. I found my self-worth through relationship with guys. If, if I wasn't with a guy, then I wasn't worth anything. I didn't love myself. I hid behind a fake smile and a fake self-esteem. Then God did what I thought was impossible. He forgave me of all the, the stuff in my life, of all the relationships I was in, everything you could think of that was bad about me, He forgave. But not only did He forgive me, He made it possible for me to forgive myself. And that, that's a big thing for me, was knowing that I didn't have to be ashamed anymore because that's how I walked around. I never would have told anybody this story that I spent all these years in and out of relationships and all the abuse I went through. I was, and to me, I was ugly and I had no, no self-worth. So then about 10 months ago, I came to Trailhead and that's where my life just turned around. Um, God put a bunch of amazing godly women in my life that he used to transform my life. It was said a few, few months ago, someone said, do you have a new guy in your life? Cause you're just beaming. And I was like, well, it's Jesus. He's the one who's done all this. Like that's who's shining out of me. Um, if you would have told me that I was going to be an obedient Christian girl reading my Bible, who would stop cussing, stop being in relationships with guys, I would have told you you're crazy. If you would have told me I would have stopped watching certain TV shows and listening to some of the music I was listening to, it, I never would have believed it would happen. But here I am, living this amazing life according to how God wants me to live it. Um, I have self-worth again, I know what I'm worth. I turn, I turn guys down that I know aren't what is good for me. It's not what God has for me. I, I love myself again. I look in the mirror and I don't see all those negative feelings and thoughts. I, I just, I see this wonderful woman that God created. And it's just been absolutely amazing, the journey that God's put me on. And I can't wait to see where He takes me. If He can do it to me, He can do it for anybody. You just have to be obedient and find His love because it's there waiting for you. God's brought me through it all. I'm just, I'm a living transformation of His love and what He can do. And most of all, I love myself. He loves me and I am loved.